Welcome back and welcome to those of you who may be joining us. We're at the Ubisoft Montreal studios here for For Honor and the reveal of year three, season four, Sunda. And right now, joined with me is our friends from the map teams, Ed and yeah. Alex, for the first time on the yeah. Warriors Den. How are you guys doing today? What's up, Mike? It's good uh, to be here yeah. finally. I'm very happy that you guys are here because we got our first ever Wulin map. And not only that, it is a breach map. Exactly. Um, yes. So we're going to take a look at that. But before we do, can you guys maybe give us a couple of words to describe this before we get into it? Oh, okay. You're going to put us on the spot of like course, that? Of course. Um, Art-wise, I definitely have to say I'd go with vibrant because, vibrant. yeah, definitely, because we really wanted to inject as much color compared to certain other For Honor maps, really, to set apart the Wu Lin faction. Nice. And gameplay-wise, yeah. Ed, is there anything specifically that you, you think that this map, you know, kind of showcases? Honestly? I think it's one of the best breach maps we have up to date. Oh. Like, okay, it's one of my yeah. favorites. Personally. Okay, so, so uh, yeah. Ed, what you have done is now uh, raised raise the bar. Well, because I find that this map, uh, it takes all of the learnings that we've had through the different breach maps we've done so far, and it really takes together all the pieces that work very well, and just took it from there. Very nice. Yeah. Well, now the hype is real, so yeah. let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got uh, the free uh, free camera that we're going to start off from the attacker's perspective. Yeah. Uh, can you describe what we're seeing right now? Well, so basically, welcome to the Wulin territory. Uh, this is on the edge of Heathmore and the Wulin land. And basically, the first part of this map is breaching through a bastion where... It has been under siege for so long that it's destroyed, so they keep trying to rebuild it and uh, defend their lands. Very nice. Yeah. And so I'm assuming, you know, for for uh, for the main lane and stuff like that, is there any, you know, tips and tricks walking in as an attacker or a defender? Are there things that people have to take a look at uh, coming into the game? Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, what you what you need to do is basically keep in mind where all the boosts are to try and get that tactical edge of, uh, above everybody else. Gotcha. Yeah, definitely gotcha. going to help capture that main lane. So now we're taking a look at, at yeah. the side lane right now, I'm so, assuming. Yeah, here we have the side lane. And as you can see, there's several paths. There's always several paths to get to where you want to go. So the important thing is learn the layout. You know, if you're new to the map, you're if, even if you're new to the mode, one of the key elements is learn the layout. Because um, learning the quickest route or maybe even an alternate path to get to where you want to go is very important. So, for instance, in, in this map in particular, you'll always find a healing zone under the, yeah. under the side lane. Okay, gotcha. So keep that in mind if you're desperate for health. So always the second point within the face. Yes, gotcha. exactly. Quick healing. Gotcha. And so then after that, we're taking a look at the first, you know, what, what I see is in a very imposing gate, right? Yeah, yeah. and as you can see, like... Um, with the rooftops and all the fresques on the wall, we really added a lot of color, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah very nice. And uh, tried to identify what the Wulin architecture would be like. And I'm assuming a lot of research goes into that, like, and, and of course you want to stay true the, to the Chinese culture and the oh, architecture. Tons, tons, so. tons. And I really have to give a big shout out to Chengdu, which helped us build this map, but also served as uh, consultants to make sure that everything was period specific so that we didn't have any buildings that stood apart as too modern. Yeah, gotcha. And now we're taking a look at another little yeah. boost in the So, right of course, side. you have the side lane, but on the opposite side, you really want to know where the boosts are and especially the shield banner, which uh, you'll need to grab if you want to shield one of your objectives. Yeah, of and that's really important if you're looking to win. And we'll, we'll see how the teams that are going to be playing in this map use those, uh, those boosts to their uh, advantage. Why don't we get through, uh, which I see that you're already doing, going to the uh, maybe the cauldron right. area yeah. uh, where there's going to be some uh, pretty epic battles, uh, you know. A heavily contested point, of course. Yes, um, the cauldron being, you know, one of those things that yeah. is very hot. Yes. Yeah, and you can see that they're... Um, they're stock holding all the oils for the cauldron there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here, if you ever ha if you ever wonder where does all that come from. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And here we're making our way out. Yeah, a view on the wall. And yeah. Itself. I'm, I'm assuming this has to be drawn as the inspiration of the Great Wall of China. Of Definitely. Course. Yeah. Yeah. Can we call it the Good Wall? <laughs> yeah, we'll call it it's a, good a pretty wall. good wall. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good wall. It's, good wall. it's been breached once. So, yeah. yeah. So this this you kind of describe this more like a military area. We'll head into once yeah. you breach the first gates. Yeah. Let's let's do take that. a look. <laughs> nice, oh, nice sound effect. <laughs> there you I go. think we're gonna we're gonna use that in game <laughs> instead of what we have right yeah. now. 
Yeah, like that. So one of the challenges in building this map was um, how do we give the impression of big open spaces but without having it feel too empty yeah. um, to try and stay true to the their types of architecture. Yeah. And if you pan up and look towards the left, you could see that uh, we have the military district on the left-hand side yeah. and the residential district with temples on, on the right. So right now we're taking a look at the residential area. Yeah, because exactly. this is the first time that they get breached, so you're really walking into you know where where they're just living. Yeah, as part of the yeah. Mm-hmm. and gotcha. it basically lends itself to the first thematic of this capture point, which is the armory. Yeah. So. And uh, one thing that you'll notice in this map is that the side lane is always on the left side of the map. So along the entire map, you'll always find you know if you're. So it's like a straight line. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, From you. phase one into the commander's phase, it'll be a straight line. Uh, you won't be crisscrossing al- along the map for the side lane. Nice. So, yeah. So that's a good little pointer for people who are starting to play this map uh, for the first time. Yeah, it keeps And the so this is the focused. second capture point, so that means that there has to be the healing zone right yeah, underneath. Yeah, if we go right underneath here, you'll find where the healing zone will be. Yeah, welcome to the day spa. It's a day spa? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that an indoor pool? That is that's an indoor pool. pool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, All right, the soldiers gotta relax somewhere, right? Any anybody who says that we don't take care of the small details here on the For Honor team, and, uh, you are wrong. Okay, <laughs> there's an indoor pool in the yeah. map. No Easter eggs in there, guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, none were attempted whatsoever. Yeah, and this is a great shot too of going into the boost so, zone. So, so spa yeah. on the left side. Yeah, take me to the right side. What's yeah. going on on the right so, side? So this is kind of uh, an echo of what we did in Hallowed Bastion, where the Guardian has his own area with the ballista overlooking it. Yeah. So it kind of it was inspired from that one. Gotcha. Yeah. You must be the luckiest ballista alive to have such a beautiful building. Yes, yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at how intricate this is. Look at this. Very, very yeah. peaceful in here. Can you get a shot of the ceiling? Look at that. The the modeling done is phenomenal. Oh wow! Oh jeez. Wow. Yep. When people go in here, make, make sure you appreciate the art. Yeah, yeah. Before, before you, you get killed. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And where would the guardian be? And so the guardian would be right in this beautiful area out here. Okay, so not indoors this time around. Outdoors. No. Yeah, exactly. I think it's the first time we have an outdoor guardian fight. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And I, I always love this about the, the For Honor maps. It's just such a beautiful setting where so many deaths will take place <laughs> and executions yep. yeah. will take that, place. I think that sums up For Honor yeah. pretty well. Uh, yeah. Beautiful areas in which to murder each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, and the JJ gets his own statue. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Very okay. nice. Very right. nice. So let's go check out the cauldron area yeah, of, of, this, of this phase. So here we have where the defenders will be coming in from. So they have several. They have this ladder. They have this zip line, which leads them closer to the guardian area. Nice. And they have this zip line that leads them to the side lane. A couple of shortcuts. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. So they can always get to where they want to go. Uh, I think that's very important. Mm-hmm. Again, the lanterns, yeah, very nice. I'd like to mention another thing also. Uh, one of the challenges was basically we created every single new texture from scratch for this faction. So all the walls are new, all the grounds are new. Really? So it really sets it apart from all the other ones. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And, and so then after that, I guess we'll take a look at the, the final barrier before we get into the, um, the, yes. the royal area. Because let's that's where it. you have to go as the attackers to kill yeah. the commander. All right. So let's get another uh, sound effect. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so take <laughs> us through what, what, where the commander will be here. So the commander will definitely be spawning on, in this area. So we al- always have a v- little visual cue there so that you'll be able to, you know, yeah. place him in your mind where he should be. And uh, what's really interesting about this map, this is one of the more uh, intricate navigational commander phases that we've done so far. So, for instance, you have this area underneath the lane where the pikemen are, and here you maybe you'll find a boost. Uh, you never know. <laughs> if you I really love this path, too, because it almost makes it feel like a, a skirmish or something, like another yeah. different type of map once you yeah. get in there because you have all these flanking paths and ways to escape and yeah. go and heal up. I always like escaping because I can't handle my problems in For Honor and so on. (laughs) Once again, you'll find the healing zone. And that means that the the final capture zone is right above it. 
And of course, a beautiful statue here. Right here. Nice. So some vases for some extra protection, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the ballista is right there on the opposite side. Very nice. So this will provide some cover yes. um, when you need it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And so in that circle is where you'll see the commander, and then after that on the other side, if you'd like to, I guess, use the ballista yeah. against him, how, how would exactly. you do so? Yeah. Uh, another cool thing also to mention is that the sound team did such an incredible job with this map. I mean, when you're done fighting, just take a minute just to stop and listen, and you can hear chimes and things like that. It really yeah. sets the mood and yeah. puts you, immerses you into the map. It's cool. Yeah. Really cool. Well, thank you so much, guys. Absolutely breathtaking. And it's the first Wulin map, again, for those of you who may be joining us now that, that are late to the party, uh, a breach map. And we're going to get to see that in action right after this. Uh, so, again, thank yes. you guys so much. Yeah. Alex, I hope you enjoyed your first time on the Warriors Den. Good. Edgar, good. of course, thank you were an uh, experienced veteran on this thing. But, <laughs> guys, we've got our community that's here that's going to play on this map some uh, best, out of, uh, best of three in terms of uh, breach matches. Uh, and to do so, we've got some special casters. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to introduce those guys for you. Uh, of course, we've got our friend Verbalocity. We don't have the image right now, but we're going to take a look. So Verbalocity 